Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a basic demo of how to move a sketch uh, off of its uh, attached surface. So I was faced with this situation where I wanted to create a, a cone section um, using sketches. Now I'm aware that you can create a cone solid, uh, you know, uh, from the part workbench, um, or you can do it from uh, Parameter, param, parameterized geometric primitives. I don't know why I can never say that word. Um, but I just, I wanted to create it uh, from a sketch just because. Um, so, and I'm, I'm guessing that I'd run into this situation uh, elsewhere, so I wanted to work through it. So this tutorial is, or demo, sorry, it's not really a tutorial, it's how to move uh, a move, move a sketch using the draft move tool. So what you'll find is if you try to do this um, just straight way, you'll run into uh, um, the, uh, the, the sketch will snap back to what it's attached to when you create it. So whenever you create something, in this case, I think it's attached to the, the uh, body origin or body, I'm not sure, um, it'll snap back to that. So let me show you. So I have, with, with, with the sketch selected, I try to move it and I pick a point Let's, use, let's activate our grid snap tool. Oh, it is. Okay, so let's pick uh, grid snap there. That's close enough. And I want to move it just in the Z direction. So I'm going to hit Z and it con constrains it, the movement to the Z axis. And I click there and you see it snaps right back to, to where it was. It, as if the move wasn't working. Now it might be good to, to if there were a message and maybe there is somewhere that I don't know about. Um, but to get around this, what you have to do is you have to detach the sketch from the, uh, you have to detach the sketch. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm aiming to do is create this cone um, using those two sketches. And you can see here, uh, I, I've used those two sketches to create a loft and the, and the resulting cone. So to move it, you go, you select the sketch, you go into the part design workbench and you, you click off the menu. This is not represented as a um, not represented as an icon, so you have to use the menu. And you click Reorient Sketch, and it asks you, "Do you want to detach it from the support?" You're going to say yes. At this point, you're not going to click OK, um, otherwise it'll just reattach it to one of these surfaces. You're going to click Cancel. So now that sketch is not attached to anything. And there may be a, another way. If you know, please leave a comment. Um, so now I can go into the draft mode, back in the draft mode, and by the way, I selected my working plane by clicking the working plane tool and clicking top. Um, so now when I click with the, with the sketch selected, and I click move, and I'm going to snap to this grid, and I'm going to click type uh, press Z so I'm constrained to the Z axis, and click again. You'll see the sketch now stays now stays where you want it. Um, so at that point, I could move forward and loft these together to create my final object of a cone. So thank you. Um, if you enjoy these videos and you learned something, please subscribe. Make sure you click on the bell so you get notifications and like and share and all that stuff. So have a great day and thanks again.